Hi, Entropians. Hi. It's me, Mikhail. Guess where I am? Just guess. No, I'm in the basement of a Rocktropia instance. I had to buy a key. The key cost me X amount of pet. I can't really say. I know they're selling them for TT plus 20 right now. I bought it from Christine Stormbreaker. I am in the Wasted Rockstar Shop basement. And I'm almost done with my instance. I have 29 minutes left. I've heard rumors that the loot's better if you exit under an hour. But I wanted to show you the basics before I ran out of time. And the 29 minute counter is a great um timer for me because then I won't have an hour long YouTube video of rambling <laughs> but anyway so I wanted to show you so I I basically walked in that door that I was standing in front of at the top of the stairs that goes out to the alley in the back of the shop and then as you go down the stairs you enter the first set of doors and there's a repair machine and there is a trade terminal so you can repair your armor and whatnot in between during the instance and also you can buy more ammo or whatever else you think you need and then you get the set of basement rules when you're going to enter the actual basement and it says that you can keep hitting the next level button on the wall to keep getting enemies spawning and after each round you have the opportunity to buy more ammo or to repair and of course then you can exit at any time to loot the safe but the idea is don't run out of time or you lose everything you get no loot if you crack the safe and exit when your time has expired so you say okay you run in and you have two hours to kill critters and in this particular instance we have d block members which go towards your D block member mission both at the prison and the CND Lagoon mission so it's really a triple win to do this instance because you have the potential to hoff at the end and you have two hours to kill these members and yet you're only limited to I forget three or four at a time so it's not like when you go to the prison you have the potential to get like 20 mobs on you at one time um, that doesn't happen here you get three or four then you have to hit the next level button again then you get three or four and if you start to get your ass kicked you can just repair and there's only two more in there type thing so the other thing I really like about these instances is I love the graphics I mean even though I'm not into this kind of thing per se like I would never hang from these chains and let people do things to me at least not in real life <laughs> maybe in no I never played that game anyway um, but I do like the graphics I think they're fun the strippers in here even though you can click operate on them they don't actually do anything which is boring the bartender same thing look at that they got a guy tied up Woo! yeah like I said I'm not into that but the graphics are fun and the idea is a little racy and so if you're a prude yay for me if you're a prude don't don't bother coming down here unless you like loot <laughs> so anyway and I really was gonna duck out because I've got things to do today so I wanted to just show you the basics so the next level button is on your left when you run in on the far wall and all you do is right click operate if you try to double click on it it doesn't do anything you actually have to right click and operate oh god now I'm having issues and then boom you get three mobs that pop up see there's one oh, here we go one two three so it actually can be a little bit boring for the higher level player for me I'm comfortable because I hardly ever have to fap and I'm not being overwhelmed I don't know I think it's good for me and I'm like a level 44 ish gun with uh, I don't even know what my evade is to be honest with you let's look we always have to look at my skills at some point right so evader mm -hmm. I'm a level 23 evader so I mean if you're a mid-range player this is probably a comfortable instance for you um, the other instances that are available I think there's only one other right now which is Mike Fryer's and I think he's just got some low-level mobs in there I haven't actually been in there yet I've just kind of heard people talking about it so 
Yeah, this is the only one I've been in so far. And this is the second time I've done it. The first time I just kind of, I bought two keys and I wanted to do a run through to kind of see how it went. And I was like, oh, this isn't bad. I want to make a video. But the problem is I've been too damn busy this summer to make many videos, which I feel real bad about letting you people down. I really do. Okay, so um, yeah, that's it. I've got 24 minutes left, but honestly, I'm done. I got stuff to do today. So to check out of here, you run over here, and this is the safe. And if you double click on the safe, you get a message that says the storage container is locked with what appears to be an advanced ro remote locking system. And look right here, quitters exit with a button. So you just right click operate. And now we get to raid the safe. Oh, baby. Yay! 553 ped, that seems to be the number, is 500 plus. That's pretty much what you get. And then it kicks you out of the basement. I've heard people only hang out in there for just under an hour and get about the same amount of ped loot and then you're not spending all the ammo I just spent. So I guess play with it and see how you do. Um, and I just realized again, well that's so funny, I don't have my Entropia Tracker running. Um, so I don't have a screenshot of what I just did but I have the video and that's all that counts because I can pause the video and look. So that's all I got for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can, if you own your own shop, you can get your own instance. You go to Poptropia or talk to Never Die, and there's some. You can either get them with bananas, or you can get them with, I guess, rock, rock bucks, whatever those are. I was gonna look and see if I looted any. Um, we got rollies, we got shrapnel. 348 pet of shrapnel. That was most of my thing. Um, zombie blood. Death final, that's cool because I need those to make guns. I wonder where the rock bucks are. If I get any at all. Nothing in the armor. I don't think I got any. It's typical for me. I never get the good stuff. Nope. But anyway. So it gives you a little preview of the basement instances. You can also watch Raven Jade's video about this, and she might have it. She has a slightly different take on it because she's a much higher level than I am. So if you have any questions, of course, comment. Um, otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'll fill you in on my horse stories because I got a new horsey again. That makes three. Good God, what's wrong with me? I know. Don't tell anybody. So until next time, Mikhail out. Have a great day. I like you. Bye. And remember, Amazons need love too. Bye.